I'm going to show you a trick for running Docker commands called command substitutions. I'm going to demonstrate this by using command substitution to stop all running containers. Let's run docker ps-a to see what I currently have for running containers. Right now, I have seven running containers, three front end and four back end. Let's say I want to stop all of these running containers. I could go through running docker stop with each container ID, but that can be time consuming. Instead, I'm going to use command substitution to stop all the containers with a single command. The format for a command substitution is the following. You would run a docker command, followed by a dollar sign, open parentheses, then another docker command, followed by a close parenthesis. Basically, I want my docker command inside the parentheses to return a list of values that my docker command outside the parentheses can act on. Let's take a look at what this would look like. First, let's get a list of all running containers by running docker ps. We're almost there. The docker stop command wouldn't know what to do with these values that get returned because it is expecting a container name or ID. So let's take it a step further and add dash q, which will only return the container IDs. Now that we know how to get the IDs for all running containers, let's build our subcommand. I'm going to run docker stop and for my subcommand, docker ps minus q. Now if I run docker ps minus a, we can see that all the running containers are now stopped. Now let's use another subcommand to start all the containers again. For that, I'm going to run docker start, and for my subcommand, I'm going to run docker ps minus a, and I'm also going to remember to include minus q. Running docker ps again will show that all containers have been started. Now let's say you don't want to stop all running containers, just certain containers with a particular criteria. We can do that by adding the filter flag to our subcommand. Let's start by running docker ps again, but this time with a minus f to filter by name. I'm going to say name equals front end, and this will return only the front end containers. All we need now is to add minus q, and we're ready to go. There are several docker commands that work with subcommands, not all of them, but this time I'm going to run docker kill followed by my subcommand. Docker ps minus a will reveal that the front end containers are now stopped, but the back end containers are still running. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.